Oh damn you fool Magic orb Sapphire key, that's why I read. This is a creepy place, lads. Hey, what the fuck, dude? Rude. And there's many of them here. Yeah, no wonder Lanelor. I mean, Mardenius is supposedly stronger, uh, stronger wizard there, at least in the in the village. But yeah, I'm melting them. You see. Well, we got two ways here, or here. Ah, but it's locked. No, actually, I think that's where we come from. Yeah, because we clear that up on the map. Let's see, is there is any way down? Yeah, it's a way down. Let's go here first. I'm exhausted. Let me rest a while. Right. So. I ran out of mana. Well, I got one. Uh, you, sh you really shouldn't waste these things, but... Let's just get rid of this guy. And... Yeah, you gotta keep an eye on that. And if you're running out, just... TP back. Slip. Uh, if you can, but I, I don't think we have anything. Oh, sheath the sword or whatever you have, because otherwise people scandalize. And see if you can sell stuff. Well, this thing is useless. Mm, we got this shield, but we cannot use it. 25 strength. Well, one of these we should sell. Probably this sword because it's uh, way too... Yeah, it requires too much strength. Maybe we can come back later for that. Ah, but it costs too much money. And he doesn't have it. Maybe a shield. I'm not entirely sure if he keeps it keeps the stuff but uh maybe and that way we can how much gold do we have okay so we can use one of them identify we want to do it with the armor uh yeah and that way we can put it on there you go so also we got this chest can put some stuff that we are not going to use. It drew the knife. Right. We go back. And remember, always remember to put it back in the inventory. I once lost it. <laughs>
Another magical orb. Right, manuscripts. Okay. So this lever is for the door. I wonder what that did. So we could go through or we could <clears throat> turn on the candles. According to this manuscript. on my magic <laughs> he didn't really give me anything I thought he would he would give me like drop me something okay we don't need a shield These are orcs. I'm gonna shit my sword. Irk Barak Tushnak. Oh, so my character speaks orc. <laughs> what an ass. Aloy, human, you come. Shmirok won't talk with you. No need to draw weapon. Damn. What's your name, Orc? You deaf or dumb? Okay, sorry. <laughs> me, Shmeruk. Me, powerful leader of this clan. What do you want, Orc? Me and friends seek magic axe. Understand? It calls Slasher. We not find Slasher. We want Slasher. You help? What, what is so special about this axe you seek? No, not axe. Slasher, you remember? Okay, I will see uh, I will see if I can retrieve this axe for you. Smeruk. Smeruk is his name. You go look, me and friends wait. Oh, okay, very well. Retrieve the magic axe called Slasher. Okay then. We can go up or down. I mean, up here it's basically where we came from, right? Oh. It isn't. Superb. We leveled up. Nice. Anyone else? Oh. Nothing else in this place, it seems. Okay, let's give some of this, more of this, like that. Mm. Right. And what else we got? Uh, Nice. To identify creature, why not? Oh, 
What is this? Got a book there. It says, This appears to be a partial uh, society of one Gre Gregor. This name's man. Gregor Brock. A former soldier who took up the profession of bodyguard for hire. The book is old and badly damaged. Some of the entries speak of a woman called Sylvena and how his lack of courage failed him when bandits on the road of, uh, to Verdistis attacked them and fled. And, and he fled. I don't know if it, that's a U or a Y. Sylvena lies mortally wounded became because of my cowardice. The bandits took her money and just ran her through with a sword and left her to die. I returned to her seemingly lifeless body. She still clung to life, but only by a mere threat. She sensed my approach and held out her hand to me. I rushed forward and I attended. Okay, that's a, this is a lot of text. Basically, some guy, bodyguard, wasn't good enough to protect her company. Uh, well, the one he was supposed to protect. We left something un unexplored there. Oh. The door is locked. Oh, there is there is skeletons there. There is no door here. Right, so I think when I encountered the orcs, I left something uh, unexplored. There are the orcs. Yeah, there's a whole passage here. Oh, another magical orb. Oh! Okay, so I don't know if I if, if we've read it or not in the gameplay, but the only way to... Um, to open this door here... You know, there's enemies in there and a few things. <clears throat> it's to use the orbs that we've collected, the magical orbs. We gotta put one in each pentagram, as it says here. Just um, just trying to save you some of the reading. There's the portal, and the other one, it's there. Damn bats. Damn, they hit hard, don't they? I didn't realize I was that HP. Okay, so from here we got two options. Up or down. And before doing that... Obviously, we're gonna open this. I was close. I was locked. We need to do a thing. I, I don't even know if it's necessary, but you know, it's just a detail. Here with the lady and the and the coward guy that didn't protect her. We are going to give rest to this guy. That is not explained at all. Not even when you read the book. Why do we have to do that? But that's how it happens, so yeah. Appear, my guardian. Appear. You failed me once. But you shall fail me no more. My guardian, my untrustworthy protector, will you fail me again? 
Will you run away and take cover when your lady is in danger? Do you want to prolong your well-deserved curse of never coming to your final rest? No. Never. <laughs> Swear, you will do everything in your power to protect your protege this time. Never to run away in the sight of danger and give your life at last. Only then will you find your rest. Me. Now you have a protector hero. My former servant will fight by your side as long as you are not leaving these catacombs. But yeah, this guy, uh, well, he hits kind of hard. I tr I played on difficult on, on stream. And this one, uh, it's really helpful. We are not playing in di with difficulty. So I'm bashing everything with magic. So yeah, we're just going to take him. And we're going to give him the final rest. Because why not? We need to get out as uh, anyway. So... Just waiting for him. There he go. That's where we go up. Rest. Finally. There you are. Bronze key. Okay. That might open something. There was a house locked. This one, precisely. Superb. Scorpion trap. These things are quite overpowered. Uh, you you probably get to see it in action at some point. Oh yeah, this house, another thing I mentioned at the beginning of the game. <clears throat> Every time you have hay or boxes, just move them out of the way, just in case. Some of them hide stuff. There is another hatch here, as you can see. I can't use that. There. It's another catacomb. Uh, usually these are small catacombs. But just if you want to, like, explore everything. Oh, yeah, okay. I remember this. So, do not... If you're following this somehow, like, if you're following for a guy or whatever, do not go through here just yet. Let me let me see around a, a little bit. Okay, there's that. There's no more way over there as well. There is a door here, right? Yeah, that is RNG as well. Like, this guy could have something on him. Gold or whatever. Yeah, yeah that's purely RNG. So, uh, with that man, I don't know if I can. You're going to get attacked here. And the guy hits pretty hard. If I, if I was full HP, he, he, he kills me in two hits. Now, who awakens me? You shouldn't have come into the cellar. Now you will never leave again. <laughs> but obviously we're a mage. So we can just wait here. <laughs> I dragged the map trying to run. I almost die. Yeah, but it seems like here in easy doesn't hit in uh, doesn't kill into hits. Shit. That's why I saved. Okay, let's see now. Oh, 
Shit. Okay, well, it's not two hits, but it's fucking three hits. There you go. I mean, he gives a bunch of XP anyway. So, if, well, if you play in a mage or you have the damage. 126 gold. It's not bad. If you can manage to do this, uh, do this, uh, this screen this early on level. Yeah, that's uh, that, that. That's it, actually. Mm, we still got the the quest to retrieve the axe. So from here, we are going to um, to go back to the catacombs. Right after when we get uh, got out, and there is another hatch there, a stairway that goes down. That's where we're going. And uh, before that, to rest. Remember to always put it back in the in inventory. Where should I change the? Uh, let's see. Five eleven. The broken dagger hits harder. <laughs> we have absolute rubbish. Durability one. We are using magic anyway, so. And yeah, this is another dungeon. New one. Many things in here. But yeah, it seems like all of this is RNG. Sometimes can give you stuff, some others cannot. At least these guys are dropping gold. Carrots. So yeah, just so you know, Marginius went through through all of this. axe well we are looking for an axe so as you can see we cannot identify it so we, we're gonna have to um, go to our friend and pay him to identify it and uh, if you do it like I do like I'm gonna do it uh, everything goes well so um, don't worry about it we'll see we'll see how that unravels with the whole orc stuff Book 32 Sempton 1207. The healers are plotting against me. I know it. They are jealous of my mighty powers and wondrous knowledge. I must find a way to escape their uh, their uh, prying, uh, prying investigations into my little experiments. But where can I go unless? Well, that's odd. Oh, he's a big guy. Big guy, skull cap. Spooky music. Was nice. 
I can do both. Uh, let's do... Better. How wonderful! So we call a broad axe. Hopefully, it's the um, it's the axe the orc, the the orcs are looking for. This is a vast place. This is what I was talking about when I told you the. Um, the game is big, like, it's not big, but it's just, uh, whatever world it is, whatever map he has, it's just full of uh, things. None of them we can identify, so we don't really know which one it is until we go and do the thing. Time to go down here. Oh. Where did he go? Doll. Lots of stuff. Locked? What do you mean locked? Just gotta bash it with the sword. There you are. Another broad axe. Fucking hell. We got three. Yeah. But look at the map, we got a lot already. And we found three axes, so... How will we know which one it is? A few things over there. Oh, the door's this locked. Door is locked tighter than a dwarf's ale purse. Very well. Gotta find another way around. We explore everything that is in the bottom level, I believe. Oh, there he is.
We now got a shield. That's nice. We've been here. We enter this one. Okay. Oh. Scorpion trap. Gold. Holy shit, this has to be the one. Well, no, that one is uh, identified. Yeah. Holy shit, 60 strength. That'd be nice, but we're not gonna. We're leveling, uh, leveling int. Nice. A mole, cheese, lockpicks, nice. That is the entire thing. Oh, I'm not entirely sure what that just did. That's the door that was locked. Let's go. It goes here, right? Oh, another axe. That has to be the one for sure. Ah. I got confused. It's this way. And then down and... And then here, yeah. Ruby. Lol. Okay then. Oh. That's a big guy. Brodax. So, we got five axes in total. One of them has to be Slasher. So, actually guys, 
if you're following this uh, as uh, as a meant for a guide or something, none of the access we picked up is a slasher. Letting you know why am I telling you this? Because if you um, go to the orcs, the only option you're gonna have is to tell them to, to say, "Yo, look, this is um, I got all this axe." Is any of them slasher? And... Is any of them slasher? And... Well, if you have it... Uh, he's gonna say, yeah, this one is... But you're gonna lose all of the other axes and you can sell them for money if you're not gonna use it. So... We have to do this, you have to come here. This is a whole other sub level. So he said, like, we are just beneath uh, Alaroth. Yeah, a lot of people say, no, it's not that big, really, but it's, it's, it's well done, in my opinion. I'm making a lot of gold. Well, guys, I literally cleaned the whole thing, <laughs> and the axe is not here. Let's try luck somewhere. Uh, I think here I saw this. Stop dodging. Lol. Oh, it's a big guy. Damn, there's a lots, uh, lots of them. But well, we got an axe there, but I, I don't think it has to be a broad axe. It is a broad axe. So, yeah. Quite obviously, this one is slasher. Too much to carry. I must drop some items first. And I have too much to carry. So yeah. Now we can go back from where we came from. I mean, it's not bad that I clean the whole thing even down there uh, because we I, I made level. You know, never bad. Superb. So let's go. Let's go towards the the orcs. Oh, but before, uh, well, we're gonna get there, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna uh, do the thing. Right, so here now, in in our way to the orcs, we're gonna do something real quick first. Since we have so many items, such as the sword and whatever, uh, so I think, yeah, this is slasher, I think. Could be this one. No, this one is, uh, yeah. I have 
too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Yes, yes, honey. Uh, okay, when I take it all up, how much gold do we have? Uh, Sheath the sword, first of all. How much gold do we have? 700. Okay, so we can pay a few. As you can see, some of these axes are not identified. Uh, slash it included. And we have to pay 150 gold to identify them. So we go like this. Let's see, it's slasher. Why it's important? Because now we know how it truly, uh, how much it is in gold now, you know? Like we're gonna do this one, for example. It says 1349. 2699 now. You see? And he has 700. Mm, so we can kind of strip him off his money. You know? Well, let's say this one is the cheapest. Healing potions, mana potions, shadow. The shadow potions make you invisible for a while. Like that, I think it's fair. It's no, it doesn't really matter. We got lots. I have too much to carry. I must drop some items first. Yes, it's funny. But look now, we got nine hundred. Oh wait. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's seven hundred, and I don't know how much. Well. The, the thing is, we got lots of things. So. Now we're gonna go t uh, towards the orcs and do the thing. But, obviously, we got too much weight. I put all of this here. It's except slasher. Hmm. Right. Slip and go. Remember to always put it here. So where was it? Here. Smeruk. He wants his axe. Do human have slasher? We not wait long. So yeah, as I said, if you don't know which one is, what it does is it gives him all the axes you got in your inventory, but you lose them. But now we know. Maybe this axe is slasher? Give slasher. And he goes and tests it with his friend. <laughs> Grank. This is Slasher. Praise to Smerok. Smerok is wise leader and Bratnir is core. We go now. Do not follow. <laughs> so, why should I not follow? You Smerok friend. Smerok tell human friend that woods around village full of orcs. Too dangerous. Nobody leave village. <laughs> but yeah, very well. Goodbye. 4000 XP. And that was a little insight into what the series is going to be like. Let me know if you like the idea. If you didn't, let me know if you want to see the full exploration. Or if you prefer to make sure that episodes uh, more cut towards what's important about the story. I would really appreciate it if you give me some input on that. We have things to do still. Uh, down the catacombs with all the skeletons and whatnot. So yeah. This is gonna be it for me, from me. Let me know what you think. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.